Hello, I'm Steve from AeroQuip. We're going to do a video today demonstrating the wheel kit. We got a chute here that's in working position and I got my colleague Jared here. We're going to put the wheels on, we're going to jack it up and make it transport ready. So just a small note before you proceed to start jacking your chute up, make sure the front of your chute is flat on the ground so that it doesn't become unstable. And so the first thing I'll do is I'll just take my jack adapter and I'll put it in the hitch. So now me and Jared will just position our tires close to the receivers. Then we'll get our jacks and we'll put them on our jack mounts. Pins are in, we're ready to start jacking. And like I say, just a reminder, make sure the front of your chute is flat on the ground and stable. Then just proceed to jack it up. Okay, that should be good. Drop your pin in. Make sure your R clip is in. Very, very important. Okay, wheels are on. We'll just uh, wind our jacks back up. Jared will just leave his jack on, and I'll take mine to the front, and we use the one jack to jack up to the truck. I'll take my jack, just pull the pin here, take off, take it to the front, and just pin it onto your jack receiver. Okay, jack is pinned onto receiver. Now just, uh, you can put your hitch in position. Pull the pin out, it has an R clip on it, and then just start jacking up. Put your hitch into the receiver, put your pin in, make sure your R clip is on. Then just finish jacking it up to the height of the hitch on your truck. There you go, just back up your truck and hook on and you're ready to go. So after you're, you're hooked up to your truck securely, you can take your jack and you can either retract your jack all the way up and leave it on your jack receiver or you can just take your jack off and put it in the back of the pickup your choice. So something you should do to to keep safe is to check your wheel nuts at 10 miles, at 25 miles and 50 miles and then just check them periodically thereafter. Okay so now we've uh, we've reached our destination as it were and we're gonna go through the procedure of taking off the wheels, lowering the chute, putting it flat on the ground and getting it ready to work cattle. So the first thing you do is just remove your R clip, pull your pin out, remove your hitch. The next step is to lower the front of your chute right to the ground so that it's stable and safe. Okay, the front of the chute is on the ground now. It's stable and safe. So just Pull the pin on your jack, remove your jack, put it back on your receiver back by the wheels. Put your pin back in. And then the other thing you should do is you got to remember we're going to be working cattle now. We don't want no tripping hazards, so remove the jack adapter. Just got a pin and uh, your R-clip. 
Okay, so me and Jared are at the back of the chute now. Both jacks are on the receivers. The pins are in. Now we just wind our jack down till the back of the chute comes up enough that the tires are loose and able to be taken off. So the wheels are good and loose. Remove your pins and our clip. Put your tires to the side, then just lower the back of your chute. Okay, the chute is flat on the ground. Just remove your jacks now and you're ready to start working cattle. We just want you to know if you've got any questions, any difficulties, please be free to give us a call. And uh, we'll give you client care to speak to it and we'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you for your time.